I don't think I'm gonna do this show again. I hate it. It's Friday before the convention, and I'm prepping the day before as usual. I didn't have that much to prep. I only had a few stickers I didn't make, but like two sticker sheets I needed to make. But I was going through my old inventory and just getting rid of everything. So that whole suitcase I have right here, I just scrapped all those prints. I'm not taking those with me no more. And I got my inventory down to a stack like this. I took 10 prints of each design, and I said in my last video that I would have new prints. And I did, I didn't lie. I have three new prints and I'm debuting them here at Stockton Con. And I'm gonna tell you guys how they did at the end of the video, but um, let's get to this convention, all right? We're on our way to Stockton Con and I don't have change in the con. So I'm gonna be late probably setting up because I'm trying to stop at like a gas station beforehand and get some change, but I cannot. I already went to another gas station and they said, you don't have any change for me. I had to park super far away from the convention center because I'm not paying $20 a day to park at the convention center. I feel like vendors, I don't know if this is a hot take, I feel like vendors should get free parking or at least discounted parking because we're there all of the days. Sometimes three, sometimes four days. We're paying all that parking money. Anyways, hope you guys can hear me because I'm walking. I had to park all the way down the street, and if you guys know Stockton, it's crazy. Man, I feel like I had to park so far, but we're here. It's right here, my jug of water. I got my jug. I got my little craft bag. But, um, let's see if we could do it. Let's see how today goes. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. So I had to walk all the way back to the car. I was in the middle of sitting up because I forgot my lunch pail or my snack backpack, I guess. Snack pack. I had to walk all the way back and I'm far. Look how far I am. Convention is way down there. I mean, it doesn't look that far from here, but I have to go through the whole back gate. And I parked all the way down there where those blue lights are. You see them? All the way down there. It's not good. It's not good if you know Stockton. You know Stockton. All right, I'm gonna finish setting up now. I'm popping in here to say I did the most drawing at this convention that I've done at any convention. This was me, literally what I was doing every single day was drawing. I filled up like, man, like 10, 15 pages in this little sketchbook. I was on TikTok and I was drawing the whole time. That's how slow it was. I don't think a Stockton Con has ever been this slow for me. And I don't think it was just me because I was just trying to observe everybody around. There was never like a wave of people. It was always just like one or two every now and then. So I don't know what was going on. But yeah, luckily I brought my sketch wallet with me. And man, those Arctic markers, I told you, I love them so much. I take them with me everywhere. Anyways, let me show you some more footage of the con. Once which 
the good for like it's so simple, yeah. It works. Five for fifteen? <laughs> okay. I was like five for fifty. Which one? No, 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 no. Okay, which one do you want to get? I feel like it definitely helps. It's like I feel like if I didn't have them, people would be like, yo, Okay, right here, it was kind of crazy. This was like three o'clock. The show ended at five. This was Saturday and I was walking around and the people behind me were like, man, this really died out. And I was thinking the same, as they were saying that, I was thinking, I was like, man, this, this is not the same as it used to be a few years ago or even the winter version. I feel like the winter version was way more packed than this. Like I would come to this show as an attendee and I have kids. So I'd bring like the stroller and it'd be like hard to get through this because everybody bumping each other, be like shoulder to shoulder. And it was like, crazy pack so i don't know what happened here i mean it is technically the end of the day three o'clock there's still two hours left in the show it was weird i don't know i don't even know how to explain the vibe like i would walk around and it was like i feel like a lot of these people were vendors buying stuff from other vendors because a lot of them i seen around like obviously not all of them are vendors buying from vendors but i was seeing like the same people and over and over and then when i do these other shows like lodi con and the other stockton cons i see all the same vendors so or you kind of start recognizing people and that's what was happening here but i don't know this is like but for a stockton con this was like crazy empty it just felt weird and i just think they're just doing too many shows a year this show could be a one day show and i hope that they don't get like mad at me they see my video and they're like trying to blackball me or something like that but i think this show there's four of these a year and the last one was in may there's a show every like two months it's february and then may and then july and there's another one in september and then february so it's basically a show every two months and i think these can be one day it might be a hot take other exhibitors might like the two days but i feel like people get con fatigue last week was literally anime expo so i don't I, I know people travel for anime expo i don't think people are going to travel for stockton con i feel like people in stockton went to anime expo so so honestly this show can be a one day thing saturday saturdays would be dope i might talk about it again at the end of the video but one day would be perfect and once a year we have a stockton con summer and a lodi con winter and that would be perfect that's just me more days probably sounds good to like a vendor because you're making more money but you're seeing the same people all the time like a bunch of people came to my booth and like oh i bought these same stickers at the winter the winter one a few months ago and i was like oh yeah thank you thank you for grabbing those but less days it would be more enticing for attendees to come because i'm like oh i only have one day to go to the show let's go that one day instead of like oh we could just wait until next month or the month after that to go to the next show or the month after that i don't know i'm gonna talk about it again at the end of the video oh, i think this was my last stockton con ever this is probably the slowest con i've done in a while it's it was literally like for Stockton Con. I feel like Stockton Con summer, I expected way more. I don't even know. Like, I feel like I don't even know how much money I made today. I made like a hundred bucks. Table was 200. Gas. I didn't pay for parking this time. I parked down the street, which I'm scared to do because there's a lot of people smoking and drinking out here. Pretty spooky. It's pretty spooky. Anyways. I couldn't, I didn't even record nothing. nothing. Nothing happened. I was literally sitting there. The weirdest thing that happened was I was drawing. Somebody came up to me and they're like, oh, can I record or can I take a picture of you drawing that line or whatever? And I was like, okay. And I started drawing it. He took a picture and I looked up and he was taking a picture of my face. And I was like, thank you. That was kind of weird. Anyways, I'm out of here. Oh, my car doesn't like fall apart when I drive off. See you guys tomorrow.
All right, I'm back. So I don't want to sit here and like complain the whole time. I love Stockton Con because it's like my local show. It's my first convention I ever sold art at, but I'm still going to stand by. I think it needs to be one day. At least the summer could be two days. The winter could be one day. I don't want to feel like I'm bashing Stockton Con because I didn't make any money. But last time I did the Stockton Con winter when it was one day, I think I made about like 900 to a thousand dollars that one day. This time I barely cracked 200, which was my table. And then the last show I did with it, the last show I did at Lodi Comic Con, I think I only made like 150. So it could just be people we're not buying anymore it could just be my art's trash which is like another thing that's on my mind all the time because i don't think other artists or vendors want to say when they do bad they always just want to say they did good because i'll ask a lot of like i'll go around and just ask people oh, how you do how you and people are like, oh, i'm doing good i'm doing great oh we're doing way better than last time or we're doing like good they don't ever but then when people ask me i'll be like ah, i'm doing bad ah oh, it's slow ah oh, it sucks ah oh, regret coming or something like that i don't think we have to share like our numbers with each other but when i'm doing bad and then i'm talking to somebody like oh i'm doing amazing i'm doing way better today and i'm just like damn i my confidence goes like way down because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. For example, I did Anime Expo, right? I made like two, three thousand dollars and I thought I was doing amazing. I was like, I never touched that much money at a convention in my life. But it turns out everybody else was making like 10K, 15K. Some people were making like 20K. So I was like, uh, maybe my art just sucks or maybe I don't look approachable. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm not marketing right. Maybe I'm not chatty enough. I don't know how to like talk to people and get them to buy because I see a lot of other people talking and I'm like, oh, you should grab this. And then I'm like, okay, I'll grab it. I don't like to do that. So maybe that's what it is. But as usual, I hate making these videos about money, even though it is about money, even though it is about money most of the time. But I talked to Chris Kaiko at Load Icon, and he basically gave me some game. And I was just thinking like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I kind of do want to make this like a full time job so I can travel more, because if it was a full time job, I would have enough money to go to different states and I can meet these industry professionals. And, and not only that, I'll get to meet other creatives who are like like minded like me. We could collab and stuff like that. I think that would be cool. So now I have the mindset that I'm going to actually try to profit on these shows. So all the art I'm going to be creating, I'm going to have profits on my mind. That's going to be it. Basically profit. I'm trying to profit. But I said in my last video that I was going to archive a lot of my art and bring only new stuff to the, my new shows. And I did that. I kept my promise. Um, there was just a couple prints that I really liked from my old art that I brought with me. One of them was one that was just like super popular. I only brought that one because it was popular and I had a stack of prints left. So I brought that. I don't really like that one, so I think I'm just gonna scrap those completely, all my old art, but I brought six, technically I only brought three new pieces, but I have six new prints. Three of them were old, six of them were new. The three old ones are gone. I'm not bringing them back to the next show. I only had like one or two left of them anyway. My three new prints I made, I really like those ones. They're kind of not something I wanted to do, for a print but the way i did them i thought it was cool their drawings from my last video where you guys watched what you guys drew with me basically uh they're from my sketchbook there were a bunch of spider-mans i drew and then that's why in the beginning of the video you saw me painting a new spider-man because i tried to make like a nice clean polished version for a print and then when i was done with it i was like it's too clean looking it looks like i'm copying the reference it's not me it's not my style if that makes any sense it wasn't sketchy enough so i scrapped it i didn't really rip it I, that was just a print that was a copy i have the actual one i have the actual one right here framed because it took me such a long time even though i don't like it i'm probably gonna give it away to like my dad or something he'll probably hang it up but yeah i didn't rip it i would be crazy i mean mileage i gained a lot of mileage from now on i learned a lot from now on so if i ripped it, it doesn't matter you don't gotta cherish your art man just scrap it if you don't like it but uh i recommend keeping it for memory so you could look back and see how better you got anyways i'm yapping like i always do let's talk a little bit more about the con i'm gonna say this is my last stockton con i'm gonna do unless i see change or something like that but i paid for stockton con winter which is in september crazy how it's only like two months away is that two months away july August? yeah it's only two months away so i will be at that one that will be my last stockton con load icon whatever i'm not gonna do them no more um i'm planning on just maybe leaving california for conventions i don't know let's hope things go right i'm just concerned because this is like the slowest show i've done in a long time and i've only done i've only been doing cons since march but i've already done like six i think or five but i've only done one other show that was super slow and it was in pasadena no palm springs and i don't even remember what it was called it was so slow that's where i met sean shemmel he came to my table because it was so slow he was just walking around and he came to my table and we we're talking for a little bit and i gave him some prints and 
he was hella cool he was like how much do i owe you and i was like bro you're goku you don't owe me nothing just take it i gave him like 10 prints and he kept insisting on paying me but i was like nah you paid me enough dad i called him dad by accident yeah that show was so slow in palm springs even ray park the the darth maul he left the show early because it was so slow but i haven't seen or i haven't been to a show or felt a show like this in a long time and it just gave me bad memories of that palm Springs show and i felt sad it just gave me like a sad vibe the whole time i was, there. I was just like do i really want to be doing this and i was looking around at other artists who were just sitting there like me and i was like guys do we really want to be doing this and then we all stood up and we marched out and we were just like chanting like we're out of here no that didn't really happen but it should have i just feel like as artists in our cellular, I don't think we're appreciated at all, like literally at all. Something as small as I think it's small. This is to me, it'd be small. If we just got free parking, why can't we have free parking? I don't know. It's just me. I don't want to pay forty dollars on top of the two hundred dollars I'm paying. I don't know. I'm, I'm complaining too much. Does that doesn't matter? I just hope Stockton Con one day they can do one day or two days in the summer, one day in the winter, or no winter, two days in the summer. I feel like it'd be better. I'd be like, it'd be like Anime Expo or San Diego, or it's not gonna be as big as those, but like, damn, you're looking forward to it. Instead of every month, oh, another con, oh, another con, oh, another con. That's how I feel. That could just be me though. That's my experience with this show. Um, not doing it again. My next show is Galaxy Con in San Jose next month. I hear bad things, I hear good things. I feel like a lot of people don't like to tell the truth. They just like to overhype things and then you go and it's just like, why can't you just tell me the truth, man? Now I'm expecting something and it's like, I watch videos, people do bad. I watch other videos, people say they do good. Why can't, why can't we just tell the truth? I'm gonna tell you the truth. I did a horrible at Stockton Con. So bad that I didn't park in a garage. I parked down the street. Just look up Stockton, California. It's like the number one in the America for carjackings or something like that. That's how cheap I am. But I'm, I'm yapping, bro. I didn't do good at this show. I made $200. My table was $200. I'm sad about that. Is it me? Is it my art? Is it my marketing? Is it my talking skills? Do I know how to talk? Did you vend there? Were you an exhibitor? Did you make a lot of money? No, no, no. Don't tell me if you made a lot of money. Did you do good? Did you do better than last time? I didn't do better than last time. I think I did better last time in the winter. Winter was way better. You wouldn't expect it to do better, but I think it was better. It was more people. Maybe it's not Stockton Con's fault. Maybe it's... Everybody always says the economy's fault. Is it the economy? I feel like Anime Expo is crazy. People are spending money there. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. This video is just me straight ranting and yapping and complaining the whole time. I did horrible. I did horrible, man. Maybe I need to charge more. I think I need to charge more. Should I charge more? I charge $10 for a print. Maybe that's too cheap. I've seen other people charge 20 Some people charge 30 I might jump on that bad one again. I don't know. I complained a lot. Anyways, next week's video is going to be a sketchbook tour. It took me a year to fill that sketchbook, so we're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you my favorite pages, and then I'm probably going to post on Instagram. Do a Q&A. Let's do a Q&A. I'm going to post on Instagram a Q&A. You guys ask me some questions, and I'll answer them on that video. Ugh, this video, I'm just yapping. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Happy Monday. Um, Thank you to my Patreons, and thank you to everybody who comments and gives me good feedback and hypes me up. Okay, if I'm doing, if you guys hated this video, tell me. If you guys like this video, tell me. You guys don't care? Tell me still, maybe? Okay, peace out. I'm out. Bye. Bye. Bye.